Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about non-equilibrium cooling of the steels. So we already discussing with the basics of the heat treatment process that will be having a three stages. First that will be the heating, then socking or you can say holding and then after the different cooling. So this is the theory which will be related with the final stage of the heat treatment process and that will be the non-equilibrium cooling of the steels. So we observed into the iron carbon diagram that will be the equilibrium diagram. So it will be considering as a equilibrium cooling so you will get the different phases like perlite then alpha ferrite and cementite. But you are performing the non-equilibrium cooling of the steels. So you will get a different forms of the steels. So let's start with the theory. So before starting the non-equilibrium cooling, what happens for the equilibrium cooling? So in case of the equilibrium cooling is performing onto the steels. So that will be gives the different structures as per the ion carbon diagram. So if you learn about the slow cooling of 0.8 percentage of carbon so that will be the nothing but it will be known as a eutectoid steel so if you want to learn in details for the eutectoid reactions so you will find a link in my description box so during the eutectoid transformation of the steels austenite phase that will be transforming into the laminar structures or you can say alternate layer or you can say in simple way that will be the perfect mixture of alpha ferrite phase and cementite phase or you can say that there will be the Fe3C and that will be known as a perlitic structure. So perlite is only found at 0.8 percentage of the carbon is being present into the steel. So that will be nothing but austenite to perlite transformations but perlite it will be only found where 0.8 percentage of the carbon with the equilibrium cooling but if you are performing the non-equilibrium coolings of the steels so that will be having a different structures so let's see the non-equilibrium kind of cooling onto the steels so in the category of the non-equilibrium cooling so if the cooling rate it will be very rapid or you can say fast cooling rate or you can say in technical language that will be the quenching process. So heated up to your material into the stable austenite phase then it will be emerged into the water or you can say oil but it will be in general form it will be the quenching process or you can say rapid cooling process. So that austenite it will be transforming into the martensite structure. So that is the having a maximum hardness is being present at a room temperature if it will be the martensite kind of structure and this martensite kind of structure it will be found by the rapid cooling or you can say with the help of water quenching. If the cooling of the same steels that will be the 0.8 percentage of carbon is interrupted cooling so there will be the some different kind of cooling rates so it will be the formation of the benitic structures. Now for the non-equilibrium kind of cooling onto the steel so basically into the heat treatment process after the heating then socking or holding then after there will be the cooling. So that will be the talking about the third stage and that will be the cooling onto the steels. So it will be converting into the different form of the steels. So let's see austenite that will be converting into the different kind of steel structures. So once you make a austenite phase by the heating and holding at this temperature so that will be known as a stable form of the austenite. Now with the different cooling rates so starting with the slow cooling rate. So just you can see with the slow cooling rate. So we already discussing that into the iron carbon diagram for the steel structures. So that will be the formation of the perlite because it will be the equilibrium coolings or you can say slow cooling. So austenite it will be with the help of slow cooling. So now it will be converting into perlite. So as per the discussion with the 
different heat treatment process so you will follow the annealing or normalizing process so in case of the annealing process heating up to your steel with the austenite face then holding and just you can power off of your furnace or you can say just you can off the furnace or you can considering into the technical language there will be the furnace cooling process so that will be having a maximum time for the cooling so this stable austenite it will be converting into the pearlatic structure if you also performing the normalizing operations so in that case there will be technical language it will be known as a air cooling process so annealing that will be the furnace cooling in the case of the normalizing it will be the air cooling process so this both the process of annealing and normalizing which will be followed by the in general form of the slow cooling so if you are performing the slow cooling onto the austenite phase so that will be converting into the pearlatic structure now second and that will be heated your material up to the stable austenite phase then if you are performing with your interrupted quenching so what you get there will be the bainitic structure we already discussing so according to the heat treatment process that will be known as a os tempering process so in case of the os tempering process first your heated austenite then it will be having a rapid cooling then holding sometimes then it will be having a slow cooling towards the bainite structure so if you want to learn in details for the various cooling cause on to the heat treatment process so you will find a link in my description box but in general case of the non equilibrium cooling on to the steels so austenite phase by the os tempering process or you can say interrupted quenching because initially that will be the rapid cooling rate then after it will be the slow cooling rate so that will be known as a interrupted quenching process so by the interrupted quenching process it will be the formation of a bainitic structure and finally heated your material up to the stable austenite and if you are performing with your rapid cooling so just you can see so by the rapid cooling from the austenite phase with the help of quenching process and that will be quenching medium you should use as a water quench oil quench and brine solutions so by this quenching process it will be the formation of martensite structure so technically that will be known as a hardening process so by the hardening process onto the stable austenite it will be converting into the martensite structure which will be having a highest hardness so if you measure the hardness for the different structures as a pearlite bainite and martensite so that will be around rc or that will be known as a rockwell testing for pearlite so around 15 to 20 and for the bainite it will be around rockwell as a 25 to 40 and if you want to measure the hardness for the martensite structure so that will be the maximum it will be possible as a 60 to 62 number so that will be indicating that by the quenching process that will be having a hard structure so basically all the cutting tool materials that will be having a martensite face then and then it will be having a good hardability so that will be having a tendency to cut any another materials so this all kind of structure it will be only fine where it will be performing the non equilibrium cooling on to the steels so basically that will be depends upon the my requirements or you can say my applications if you work for the cutting tool materials so that will be the heating up to your material to the stable austenite then you will have to performing the hardening process if you are increasing the strain hardening and any things so that will be by the annealing process normalizing process and as per the my requirements so i hope you understand this theory as a non equilibrium cooling onto the steels so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching